Okay, here we are in beautiful downtown Tarpon Springs, and this is the Replay Museum. They have unlimited play. You come in, you pay a flat fee, and with that flat fee, they give you a wristband, and you are able to go in and out of the business. Uh, each wristband is good for one day only, but you can go take a break, get some lunch, come back, and play to your heart's content. They also have monthly tournaments. Um, so yeah, if you're ever in Tarpon Springs, come down, check this out. But they have, and if you see your favorite, let me know. I'm looking for one in particular. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. I'll have to pause the video as I walk along because uh, I, I'm allowed to film here, but no patrons. So I'm gonna skip a couple. Oh, thank you. So let me know if you see your favorite video game over here. Oh, Aerosmith, killer. I don't know that I've ever played Aerosmith. They have some of these old tabletop style machines. So if you see me going to the floor that's uh, trying to avoid any people playing here. They also have these I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this one. Galaga, Ms. Pac-Man. <laughs> we have some kids' arts. Spy Hunter. Centipede, Centipede, X Men. A lot of the Mortal Kombat machines. Ah, some of the vintage ones. Hmm. Um, this one here. Here's one I used to pull play called poker oh I love this one Captain fantastic I know I played that one as a kid this is a real obscure one huh? Chris is playing this game I've never played it never heard of it I love that they have some of the uh, the information on some of these pinballs too. So it's like a museum slash arcade. And Bimbo, of course, she's going to play Haunted House. No surprise there. 
She just finished playing what? Bad Cats? And then you have some of these over here. Golly. That one I wouldn't even begin to know how to play. But, yeah. I remember that one, but I never played it. Wow, this one's massive. And this one's massive. So these are the two. Oh, this is Hercules. That is just massive. I've never seen such a big pinball machine before. It's, uh, what is this? Probably about a yard across. That's crazy. And this monster is about, oh gosh, it's about eight feet high. Insane, insane. All right, so uh, it's a great place. Uh, you know, if you have like a garden club or you're retired, uh, I'm looking there are probably some retirees here having fun. A uh, great place, of course, for a birthday party, no matter what your age is. But uh, the replay amusement museum is very cool. So I'm going to take a break here and I'm going to play some games and uh, I'll come back in a minute. Alright, so the oldest video game here is this one and you can see it only has goes up to 9,999. Uh, so that one's pretty cool. Unfortunately, this one is not working. Uh, I don't think they were aware of it. So um, there's actually a ball in play, but we don't know where it's gone. And then the little three is set back, so not sure what that is. Uh, I was playing this road race. It's pretty old as well, second oldest, and very basic. Uh, very basic. And now let me tell you though, these bumpers are crazy. They are very sensitive, and they really propel the ball pretty far. And then the flippers are much wider than the more modern uh, flippers. Even these look to have a be a little bit closer. Um, but I like the fact up here, if you notice, they didn't even call it pinball. They called it flipper, flipper. So that's crazy. Uh, it was a flipper skill game. It wasn't even known as pinball at that point. Uh, and of course these did get, um, here's one, but this one's a by the same company. Um, but and also here again, very basic. This 
this is actually a little bit more, um, uh, I guess, complex of a design than this one over here because it doesn't have the extra flippers and it doesn't have, uh, it has the targets in the middle. I would have loved to have played this game. Uh, it, it's just pretty amazing to me. And then uh, this one's pretty old, but you know, for as old as it is, it does have quite a high scoring capability. And then this strike zone over here is another oldie. Um, I'm gonna play this one, these two, a little bit. I, I played some of the newer, I say newer, not the most modern. Uh, I played Captain Fantastic over here. Uh, I'm 61, or, or soon to be 61, so this is uh, kind of more in my wheelhouse, my heyday. Uh, but the one I played, uh, there was a 7-Eleven near my house, and it was more like big deal is what they had there. Uh, but I think it was only a two-player. It was more like um, it may have been played by uh, made by Williams as well. But I remember I think it only went to two-player. Uh, but yeah, so this is the one I wanted to play. This one also is not in service right now. Um, very disappointed in that, but glad to see some of these great vintage. Uh, game still kicking it so and then even next to this you have the more electronic one I don't know why this one's here but maybe it was a good place to put it at the time this was 1980 so yeah this one's 77 makes sense I'm trying to think yeah this is the, the time I would have been playing pinball uh, because it was next door to the apartment uh, that I was living in at the time and I'd go over there after school if I had money left over from um, buying weed or cigarettes and I'd go over there I don't smoke cigarettes anymore but um, uh, but yeah these are pretty cool I'm loving this place and of course my husband down there he's <laughs> he's uh, he was uh He's only 51, so he's playing all the stand-up, like Pac-Man, and uh, what was he playing over here? Some, I don't even know. I'm sure he's played Galactica and all those others, but right now he's playing Pac-Man. He's killing me. So, anyway, uh, we're going to go continue to have some fun here, and we may or may not be back, so hold on. Watch that little... Uh, counter down there and see if there's something more to watch. Okay, this may be the craziest pinball game I've ever played. It has these four flippers here and, you know, they're run by... I'm going to turn it on. Let me get this going. So these are run by one button up here. Oh, but see, there's another set of flippers down there. And it's down below. And it's at an angle, so it's really weird. It's really weird. You barely see it down there. It is so freaky. And then those are run. And then, get this, there are flippers up here on either side. This is pretty intense and what do you think you're doing good and then it flips you back onto the tabletop once you're doing pretty good down here and you lose the ball then it flips it back up to the top and then you got to remember oh yeah I got to switch buttons again so it has two buttons on each side it's pretty wild pretty wild so I'm going to continue to play this one a bit and I may check out something else now this machine, the getaway, is a lot different because instead of a pull mechanism here, you have a shift, like a gear shift, and you just push down 
and it shoots the ball out. So that was interesting. That was a fun play. All right, we have to play the Who's Tommy, of course. I'm a pinball wizard, there has to be a twist. Pinball wizard has such a soft wrist. How do you think he does? I, I don't know. know. Uh, it's a fast one. It is a fast one. There we go. I guess I'm just deaf and dumb. Yeah, you got it. Shoot lit target banks. Me flies down. Oh. Encore, encore. Oh, cousin Pip. I'd say of the modern ones, this has probably been my favorite. Oh, two balls. Yeah, I know, I see that. Three balls, oh, two balls. Dang. Come on, that ball. No, no, there's three. Three balls. Wow. Very cool, I love this one. If I lived here, I'd be here almost every oh, day. Are you, still on? are you still filming? Yeah. I did not that grand. Not that grand. I would be here every day if, oh, yeah. if I lived here. Holy cow. Well, I hope you enjoyed that excursion as much as we did. I'd say we got our $14 worth out of that. And... We would definitely go back there. Uh, they also do gift certificates. So that is cool. Uh, have a great one. We'll talk to you later.